for uh, Dorking Hood's news, uh, and I'm very delighted to be sitting here at Scalacon with uh, Rota Kora, um, a talented artist who has contributed to uh, Metal Investigations uh, game, and of course to Galacon itself. Now, um, first of all, uh, could you please uh, correct my pronunciation of your name? Rauta Kora. Yeah, thank you. I hear it's pretty difficult for other people to say, so no worries there. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've often tried to pronounce these uh, alveolar trill, but I just can't. Yeah, they are. It seems to be really hard exactly. for most people. Um, yeah, no, the first question. Um, when uh, was it really that you noticed that you have a knack for art or talent for it? Well, I'm not really sure about the uh, knack or talent. I mean, I've been drawing my whole life, just mostly in uh, <laughs> school, during the class when I was bored, I just doodle around. And then uh, when I was around 15, I got my first, well, like this drawing tablet, and I started drawing di digitally. And uh, well, well, there we draw some few digital pictures and uh, uh, well, kind of hard to say actually. I never thought about it just like oh, uh, sudden revelation that uh, oh, I can draw. Whoa! I never really anything like that. I just been doing it just it's just so long. Process, uh, yeah. And you already mentioned your tablet uh, just now. Uh, yeah. Uh, what other kinds of um, hardware and software do you use for your um, for your art and uh, for free to geek out? <laughs> yeah, I have. Uh, well, the drawing tablet I have is Ipsex uh, Media Tablet, what was it, fourteen thousand U, something like that. I never got what the fourteen thousand stands for, but anyways. And for drawing, I use mostly paint tool sci, and uh, I draw with the paint tool sci and add the effects I want and uh, modify the picture with Photoshop. So, those two. Um, then, um, can you think of something uh, like a description of um, your personal style? What makes um, your art, um, that would be the art your uh, person in its personality? Well, uh, how do I put it? A lot of people say that it looks kind of really painterly, the smooth shading and stuff. Like some, well, kind of like an oil painting, or some people even say that they look like wax figurines. So, Something like that. A really weird painting. Mm -hmm. Impressive one, yeah. Um, now, um, can you actually think of um, certain instances or milestones in your development? Something that um, influenced your style in some way? Um, for example, um, in reference to uh, ponies? Well, one, one that I can think of would be that when I started to draw ponies, the, the, they have all those, they're really smooth all around, like smooth go coats and no hard edges, like clothes and such, different, uh, different colors and areas like that. So it's just smooth colors and shadings everywhere. So it, that, in, that in general has probably made my style, like the shading is really smooth all around because of that. And um, um, you, of course, uh, contributed also to Galacon. Um, what are examples of um, the art you contributed to the convention? Well, if you look at the convention guide, there's the poster I made. It's on the front page and some pictures inside the guide and tickets for the con and what else, the t-shirt they got for the donations and stuff like that, those small pictures. And of course all the OCs then um, yeah. on the picture, yeah. The OCs in the comic guide. Mm -hmm. guide. Yeah, thanks. Um, then, um, of course you also, um, as I said in the introduction, uh, contributed to uh, my little investigations. Mm. Um, but actually, um, uh, now, of course, there was uh, an FAQ we were also contributed to um, that was published recently. Um, but, yeah, a um, very short could answer. You <laughs> could you please, um, nonetheless, uh, repeat just what um, your um, 
your role in my little investigations was um, and how did all this teamwork um, work out or is still working out? Uh, well, I'm well the cutscene artist for the game, so I make the little little pictures that appear during the cutscenes with the text and the voice acting we have. So kind of driving along the story with pictures, but uh, with the style is a bit different from the indie game style. So it's just these fancier shadings and such. So these uh, cutscenes are like um, little intermissions where the user has not as much um, control of them. Yeah, no control. They're just well cutscenes. They you see the story is driven along with them a bit more, and then the cutscenes ends and they get to play around until the next one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, that already um, brings us to the last question then. Um, uh, yeah, about the teamwork. Uh, oh, the teamwork? Yeah. Okay, yeah, sure. Yes, uh, well, we have a special develop developer. How do you say that word? Developer. <laughs> yes. Developers, 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 developers. Yeah, we have a special developer that's the uh, developer forum on the Equestrian Dreamers website along with the normal forum. And we there we just basically all the stuff we do for the game we put it up there for the other team members to see and then we well, criticize it and uh, see what's wrong what's wrong with it and uh, edit it depending on what people think should be changed in it. So pretty much like that. People critique each other and mm -hmm. uh, well the game is better for that. Hopefully. Yeah, interesting. It was mentioned in this um, uh, in its anniversary, uh, anniversary um, video that actually this um, criticism is very um, uh, constructive and informed. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. It's not like we're dissing each other that that sucks. Of course. Doesn't really help with the game. So people really try to help each other. That what they think would be best for the game. It's an interesting atmosphere. Yeah. They're helping, really. Um, yeah, now to this um, last and um, <laughs> but funny uh, question. Um, you've drawn, uh, of course, uh, very famous pictures of uh, Vinyl Scratch and of Octavian. And um, of um, both these ponies, um, who's better pony? Well, that's where we get the really philosophical and deep because I think neither of them would be really good or as good as they are without the other one. Like in the epic WAP time, they were really complimenting the like, high class Octavia is, and I'd all around, annoyed all around by one of Scratch who just crushes Apple's other mugs on her head and WAP cannon and like, pace cannons what they have so they kind of complement each other and they well the fandom seems to have noticed that because they're always together in all the fan stuff so they're kind of equal because they're gonna work together like that what a lame answer i can't even no, it's very decide intriguing between answer. them two <laughs> very intriguing yeah. answer actually i'm going with that <laughs> yeah thank you well that wraps up the interview yep Thanks for the interview and um, no problem. Uh, of course, have fun at the gala. Same to you. Thank you. Thanks. Now, let's hope it's all recorded. <laughs>